I'm Kat and I'm back with another video. Today I'm going to show you my finished Christmas decor. So stay tuned. I'm walking into my kitchen. I just had this little bells and stuff hanging right there. One of my bells got chipped out in my house, but I had to use it anyway. My kitchen. Walking into my kitchen, I just have this snowman mat. Tomorrow I'm going to do a bunch of baking and making cookies and gingerbread houses and uh, cookie t-shirts. So be looking forward to that video. Alright love bugs, this is how my kitchen Christmas setting looks. I didn't really do much because like I said, I'm going to redo my kitchen. But just to make it a little festive, I just add a little bit of poinsettias. To the top of the table and then I have my dishes and to keep with my snowman thing placemats and then I just decided to put this bow right here that you're seeing in my hall so that's the way my kitchen looks Again, I didn't add too much to my end table since I just redid my living room. So I just put a box and a card on each one. Now we're going around to the wall that I have my stockings on. I did DIY my snowflakes. You seen them in my Christmas shopping haul. All I did was put my Podge and glitter on them. And then I'll insert a picture of how I hung them up. But I think it turned out really pretty. Not too much, but it's the Christmas spirit that matters. And then going over here on this wall, Keeping continuing my with my thing. snowman thing. DIY those snowman flakes as well. And then I hung the two stockings for my grand dogs. And that's the way that wall looks. Let me do a step back overall. And now to my Christmas tree. I am very anal with my Christmas tree. That's why I didn't record doing it because it took me three days. I sit on the couch and I see what needs to be moved. And I did that for three days. But I'm very happy of how it turned out. you guys some of the ornaments that I have on there I did put the angel wings up for my parents and there are the doves um, this snowman is supposed to hang on the door but I tore some of the pieces off of it and put some twisty ties on the back and hung it for my Christmas tree I love the ones that look like ice creams and cakes and my little penguins. And I always collect snowman each year. I even got the snowman popcorn canisters. I 
I do DYI this snowman right here. It used to be brown. I added eyelashes, a little blush. I took a pair of socks and put it over a headband and tucked it to bring her back to life. Then I have this little snowman, the dancing snowman, my 2020 snowman, and I have the baby bear and the big bear. And I made my tree topper. All of the items, some of the items that I'm showing you is in my Christmas haul. So I love the way my tree turned out. It's very sparkly. My backdrop. I had my baby's friend make it for me. Let me see if I can get behind you. With the color things. It really makes the Christmas tree stand out. And yes, I'm really loving how my Christmas tree turned out. These are the two reindeer that I also showed you in my Christmas haul that I'm going to DIY real quick. And I'm going to have a video and show you how I did it. I'm just going to add two collars around these two reindeer that I have for my downstairs display. What I'm using to make the collars for the deer is my glue gun, a pair of scissors, some Velcro strips. I'm going to cut those in half so that I make two. Two pieces of the cotton roll, a glue gun stick, and two pieces of bling wrap. Okay, so right now I'm going to take one of the Velcro pieces. It's the same size as I'm lining it up like this, and then I'm gonna cut it across there. Now I'm gonna take the two pieces that I cut and put them on the Velcro part to make sure it's the same size, and cut them. And I need two, since I have two reindeer. And then I have my two pieces so to fasten around the neck. What I did was put the hot glue on the top of the cotton. I'm letting it sit for a second. And then I'm going to lay my bling wrap on top of it. Now I peeled the sticky, I peeled this uh, plastic off that comes on the Velcro. And I'm going to turn this over because you don't want it on the same side as the bling and then just place it right there. Then when you're ready to use it, then you can peel the other side off and clip it together. You don't want to put your glue all the way down to the end. You want to leave a space for your Velcro. I'm working on my second one, so now I'm going to sit this on the top. Okay, now I finished my two collars for my reindeer. I'm going to fasten them around their neck and let you guys see what it looks like down on my display. And here is my display on top of my fireplace. Here's the reindeer with the collar that I put on his neck. All I did was spray, if you remember my Christmas uh, haul, I DIY that, I sprayed some snow on it after. First, I rolled it in glitter. And then I added some artificial snow to liven it up. At first, it looked like a bottle washer. Then I just added snow on the top of the houses. And there's my girl reindeer. And here is the vase that I had in my haul, my Christmas haul. And all I did was put some artificial snow in the back, in the bottom of it, and added a blue Christmas tree. And here is the Nutcracker. And I have my house and my tree. This house does light up.
some of my reindeer. I put candles on them. And there's another blue Christmas tree right there. I just added a little bit of snow. There's a close-up of the reindeer with the collar. Another reindeer with the snow. And a lantern. Same thing over here. Another reindeer with the collar. And here is my black nutcrackers. And here's how it looks from a distance. I hope you guys enjoyed my Christmas decor video. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you on my next video. Bye.